two, and up. <laughs> Behold, the uh, future of aerial transportation. Conspiracy for making this video possible. Uh, things has been a hot minute since I filmed these DCI drones. That, uh, I hope that's not a sign of things to come. But, anyways, uh, our sponsor for this video, Kaspersky, uh, is an online cybersecurity company. They're basically starting a new project called Earth 2050. Earth 2050 is a collaboration between artists and futurologists. They basically come together to create predictions of the future in an online format. You can see predictions for what Earth will be like in 2030, 2040, and even 2050. Some of the predictions we found very interesting are self-driving cars, ride sharing, and even personal flying vehicles such as backpacks. Speaking of which, we're working on something over there, but just a little bit more of that in a minute. Okay, anyways, back on topic. So be sure to visit the website, check out the predictions you like, and give them a like. The ones you dislike, give them a dislike. And you can even leave your own predictions. Anyways, we left our own prediction on the website. You can check out the link in the description. So let's have some fun, predict the future, see who's right, see who's wrong. And anyways, I think it's back time to get to the video. Uh, yeah, right? Let's do it! That's a lot of work to break. About it's like 25 pounds. Oh, it's only 20 pounds. That's what I just say, 20 pounds. You said 40 something. No, you said yes. 45 pounds. I said, it ain't no 45 pounds. It ain't 45 pounds. You say 20 pounds. I said 25. So I, was a I just say 20 before you raise it up. This is the drama we all subscribe for. All right, thanks for welding, old man. You can go home now. We're done. I right, now go wash my dishes. At least he said thank you. <laughs> For nothing. Shut up, Sam. Alright, back on to work. Show. Go on.
recording. Okay, um, that's it for the montage. Uh, I know we didn't really explain a lot, but hey, we're gonna run up the motor, then we'll actually talk about this, okay? Um, you good with that, right, Sam? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, look, we got my fancy bullet connectors. Simply just jam it in the hole and call it a day. Uh, we good, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I didn't Brilliant. hear a tone. Oh, there's a tone. All right, here we go. Yay! That's some pretty cool sounds. Oh God, you're putting the prop on, aren't you? Oh yeah. Oh boy, I think it's gonna spin the wrong way. Whoa. Yeah, it's the wrong way. That's so cool. Okay, um, that runs. Let's actually try to bolt one of these on and just see how much thrust we get on the 6S configuration. Are you crazy? Just a little bit. I just want to run it up just a little bit. We're not going to do the full test. We need to do a lot of testing and stuff in the next few days because we actually have to fly this. I guess, um, let's just wrap this up because this is part one of this video. So, hang on. I'm going to unplug this death trap. Okay, so I've always wanted to try these. Wait, you're feeling the dog? Yeah. Oh, He's man, cute. You're supposed to film this. Okay, but anyways. Uh, I've always wanted to try one of those personal flying drones. I've seen them on tons of other YouTube channels for people doing like uh, the, the, uh, the real life the real life guys, I think. Yeah, they're in Germany. They made a flying bathtub. It's super cool. And I've seen other uh, numerous other careers do it, like Colin Furs who did the hover bike. So I figured with Christmas around the corner, let's make a flying sleigh and see how far we actually get with that. So I think we just went ahead and did it. Uh, Sunny Sky hooked us up with some motors and ESCs for this project. So we're going to be flying on those. It's just basically just a big, giant, uh, quadcopter or X, X8 copter because you know it is more just going this way and that way. Um, it's made out of chromoly that we welded together. Uh, what else do you want to talk about, Sam? Uh, the arms are aluminum. Yeah, they're kind of bent. <laughs> we got these. I was surprised how bent some of these came right out of the factory. So that wasn't very um, awesome. But hey, it's, this is a one time use project. I'm just gonna fly it around a little bit and then I'll be totally satisfied. Um, hmm. That thing's really noisy, let's wait for that to stop. Okay, uh, now that the heater has subsided, the all up weight of this is currently around 50 something pounds. What do you think, about 54 pounds? Yeah, around there. Shoulder exercises. So it's not too bad, it's still pretty lightweight. I think we're projected to have a, what was your mass Sam on this, 360 something pounds? Of lift? Yeah. yeah. 360 pounds of lift with these um, Sunny Sky motors. I think these are the Sunny Sky X8030S motors. So there's some premium stuff. Hopefully it'll fly really good, I think it'll be fine. And I think, um, I think we're going to scramble to get this done for the next few days, because this is part one like I mentioned. You guys will probably see this thing flying real soon. In the meantime, uh, check out Kaspersky's website, Earth2050. Check out our prediction in the description down below. And uh, let's hope I don't die because uh, I'm flying this in the next few days. We got work to do, Sam. Don't try this at home. Oh yeah, definitely don't try this at home. It's obviously kind of really expensive, but yeah, don't try this at home. This it's is just dangerous. Crazy. It's extremely dangerous. This is actually more terrifying than the ultralight project, I think, because uh, this is flying with quadcopter uh, stuff, or at least the. Uh, the DJI flight controller makes me nervous. The motors and ESCs are fine, but flight controllers for these toy drones, I'm not quite so sure of yet. But anyways, that's all for now. Do that stuff. Uh, leave your predictions down below what you think is going to happen with this. And we'll see you next week. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not leaving you guys this yet. We are going to run this sucker up to full speed, at least on half voltage. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, hang on. Why is it beeping? I was already attacking. Oh, not low enough on the throttle threshold. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Success, yeah. So that's that's completely that's exactly half the voltage 
of the minimum, you know, calculated requirements. So that should probably be, it's supposed to be do what, like 30 pounds of thrust at full throttle, right? On a 14, 14 cell. cell. Oh, 30 pounds. Okay, so that would be 15. And that, that weighs more 15, so it shouldn't move by these calculations. So it works great. It does move air. Um, all right, now let's actually leave the viewers. So tune in next week.